Fire Science, it's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. I'm here today to do your Eclipse Love Reading. Okay, this is for love energies for all fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we will do them separately for the energies in and around the Eclipse of August 11th, okay? So let's go ahead and start with Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. What could Aries expect in love on and around the Eclipse of August 11th? Aries in love on and around the Eclipse of August 11th, please. Aries in love. bag, all right? You have the Four of Swords reversed. Some of you guys have cut off communication with someone, or you will be doing so. Somebody may have cut off communication with you. Um, we've got every sign on the table. We have air, earth. The only thing we don't have yet is water, okay? Um, we have some fire, too. Now, Aries, what I'm seeing here first is the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, uh, who may be upset at you. You may be upset at them. The other thing that card can represent is a lack of stability or commitment within a relationship, okay? Somebody's not feeling grounded, stable, committed, solid, you name it, you know, whatever that is. Feeling very shaky right now is what I see, all right? Uh, the good news is that for some of you guys, you'll be coming in from being left out in the cold. So say you cut off communication with someone or uh, things have not been stable. Uh, this person may be reaching out to you to patch things up. Aries, you may be doing the same, okay? Um, next, we have the Knight of Swords, all right, reversed. Um, some of you guys are putting the brakes on a situation where you were char uh, charging forward passionately um, and aggressively towards another person. Now you're just like, nah, maybe not, slowing things down, okay? Um, some of you guys have decided not to pursue things with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or maybe they have decided not to pursue things with you, all right? Next, we have the Three of Pentacles. This does represent teamwork. This can also represent a focus on work. So some of you guys, instead of focusing on love, you're focused on your coins right now. Um, others of you, uh, threes, of course, can always represent third-party situations. So some of you guys may be involved in something like that. That can go for you or your partner, okay? Next, we've got the Six of Wands. There's a victory here for you, Aries, whatever the case may be. You're gonna come out on top is what it looks like here. So whatever you're wanting right now, if you're wanting to get out of a situation that's unstable, you come out victorious, okay? If you're wanting to patch things up with someone, it looks like you win, you know? If you're the third party, you may be one, the one that's chosen out of the other partner, okay? Um, seven of Pentacles. Again, working very hard on something, um, working very hard either on repairing your relationship, um, helping your relationship grow, uh, again, some of you guys just focused on work right now instead of love because you're just tired of playing games. All right, let's clarify for Aries. All right, Aries, Aries, Aries for love on and around the eclipse for Aries, 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 love. Okay, yeah, ooh, okay. Uh, so Knight of Cups reverse. Now we've got water on the table too. Um, Queen of Pentacles reverse. Uh, things could be like... Mm, unstable, and perhaps someone owes you an apology for acting irrationally is what I'm kind of seeing here with the Knight of Cups reversed. You may owe someone else an apology for kind of affecting the stability of a relationship, um, something to that effect, okay? Uh, Knight of Cups reversed can also be someone who's being very stubborn, not wanting to, especially with that Queen of Pence reversed, uh, not wanting to apologize, you know, trying to always uh, pretend or act like they're right, okay? Or believe that, believing that they're right even if they're not. Okay, five of pentacles reversed, five of pentacles reversed for Aries. Wow, okay, so seven of pentacles reversed. Um, some of you guys, again, are deciding not to work on something and just walk away because this person's just me making you feel left out in the cold. Um, somebody could be doing this to you as well. They're just like, you know what, I'm not gonna put any more effort into this. I'm gonna take the lesson I've learned and now walk away from the situation. Um, Knight of swords reversed. Why is the knight of swords reversed? Okay, ooh, king of cups reversed, all right. Some of you guys are really pissed off. Um, it could be the person you're dealing with too, uh, having this energy, but pissed off to the point where you halt all further action, okay? You put the big stop sign up and just, you know, basically cut them off. You guys might be like, you know what, I'm not even gonna speak to you anymore ever again, that type of thing. Um, but some of you guys, it's like, uh, King of Cups reverse is emotional instability too. Somebody acting very irrationally, uh, somebody being upset to the point where they do or say things that are just over the top, all right? 
Um, so yeah, Oops, sorry Aries. Uh, three of Pentacles, why is the Three of Pentacles here for Aries, please? And love on and around the eclipse. The Empress reversed, oh wow. Okay, so if this is a marriage, okay, again, we could have somebody stepping out on their partner, okay? The Empress I do see as a wife sometimes. Um, you know, it could be a Taurus as well, but, or a Libra. Um, but again, you know, I see this more as like a third party situation, all right? So somebody either stepping out, um, either that or somebody, maybe if you're married, you know, the partner finds out about the third party situation. So do be careful, Aries, if you're not trying to uh, have somebody find out, that might come to light during this eclipse, okay? All right, uh, and the same could go vice versa. If your partner's in a third party, uh, you might be finding that out, okay? So, okay, six of wands uh, with a double reverse. Now we've got Capricorn energy, but again, breaking free from a toxic situation and riding into victory, ending all affairs, toxic relationships, uh, and dealing with anybody that has maybe addiction problems, drugs, alcohol, gambling, sex, you name it. Um, you know, just getting away from that situation and choosing to ride solo into the sunset on your own. Okay, Aries? And that could be vice versa as well. Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Aries? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, the Tower Reverse. Again, so perfect example. If some of you guys have gone through the Tower situation recently where everything came crumbling down, you're now working very hard to rebuild your life, rebuild your stability, um, maybe focusing on work instead of love at this time. Others of you are working very hard to avoid a disaster, okay? So you're trying to avoid this tower from falling. Usually that doesn't work, Aries, okay? If the tower's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. You probably know that already, but you know, just putting it out there. Okay, Aries, if you're interested in a personal reading, I can be reached at trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com. Just shoot me an email. I will send you everything you need to book. All right, let's move on to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius in love, on and around the eclipse of August 11th. Sagittarius in love, on and around the eclipse of August 11th. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on. All right, Sagittarius in love, on and around the eclipse of August 11th, please. Sagittarius in love, on and around the eclipse of August 11th. Kitty's coming to say hi. Twinkle. So you're welcome. All right. Six cards for Sagittarius, please. Six cards for Sagittarius. Six cards for Sagittarius, please. Six cards for Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius, let's see what we got going on for you guys. So we have the Seven of Wands, needing to defend oneself against somebody's words or actions. Somebody could be also feeling this way about you, okay? Being very defensive, like, look, this angry mob's coming after this guy, and he's got this stick, and he's like, hey, back off, you know? Trying to uh, basically, you know, salvage himself, but also stand up for himself, okay? Or salvage something, all right? His dignity, maybe something along those lines. We also have the Magician here, Gemini energy, also Aries energy, okay? Um, the Magician is actually manifesting something. Some of you guys are manifesting a better relationship, a renewed relationship with your current partner. Um, others of you are manifesting a way out of this relationship and going into something better, okay? And that can go vice versa as well. Next, we have the King of Wands, the so Sagittarius is your own energy, or you could be dealing with another fire sign, <clears throat> Aries, Leo, or Sag. Um, with the King of Wands, though, very in control. I like this energy for you guys because he's showing up as somebody who's in control of his emotions, in, in control of his temper. You know, if somebody's coming after you like this, you're like, you know what? Nope, I'm good. I'm chill, honey bunny. You know what I mean? So um, you guys are really kind of keeping a sense of balance right now, seeing things in a very um, calm and, you know, perspective, taking everything in, not overreacting to things, which is great, okay? Judgment reversed, womp womp. All right, so we have something that could be very unfair. Okay, somebody could be judging a situation unfairly. Uh, that could be you or your partner. Uh, judgment reversed can also be somebody getting their karma. All right, so if you have put bad karma out there, Sagittarius, be forewarned, okay, this might be coming back into you. Um, if it is your partner, same thing. If they put bad karma out in the world, you know, you might be seeing some stuff com coming back in for them, all right? Because it's like Judgment Day has arrived and, you know, this is all about karma with Judgment here. Um, next we have the Ten of Pentacles, all right? <clears throat> Reversed. 
So, you know, it could be sad that some of you guys are like, I'm just not happy in the situation. You know, with this magician with Ten of Pentacles or Ten of Cups reversed is like, you know, you might be manifesting a way out of it. Um, you know, it could be, you know, going both ways, but this uh, typically means like emotional, uh, not being fulfilled emotionally with something. All right, we'll clarify it to see what's going on. Um, but you might be just finally realizing this, like opening your eyes, standing up for yourself and going, you know what, I, I want more than this out of life, you know. Next we have the Emperor, so Aries energy here, but, you know, being, in, again, in, in control of your emotions, all right, taking charge of your empire, uh, being very calculated and uh, not overreacting to things. So even though you might be very unhappy emotionally, Sagittarius, you're just like, you know what, I'm the man with the plan, all right, I'm making a plan and it's going to be all about what's best for me, okay, and this can be you or your partner, all right. Okay, so let's clarify these cards <clears throat> for Sagittarius, please. Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here for Sagittarius, please? Seven of Wands for Sagittarius. Okay, um, Ten of Wands. All right, so yeah, whatever this is, you know, that's coming after you like crazy, Sag, it's, it's like it's been a burden, you know, it's been a heavy burden. You're trying very hard to carry the entire weight of the relationship. This could also be your partner. Uh, but it's like, it, it's enough. Enough is enough. It's time to drop the wands. Like you're done, you're done dealing with it. You know, you don't want to carry this weight anymore because it's too much. You know, the magician, knight of cups, again, some of you guys may be manifesting new love. All right. Um, if you're carrying past energy, anger, aggression, hurt from, uh, an ex or something like that, it's like you're releasing that now. And now you're on your way to find new love. This can be an offer coming into you, a knight in shining armor, this can also be you extending that offer to someone else. But it, again, with that magician, it means you're manifesting this kind of like knight in shining armor personality, okay? Uh, King of Wands. <clears throat> King of Wands reversed. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so again, somebody's trying to push your buttons, Sagittarius. No questions, okay? Um, six of Swords reversed. Even though, you know, you're going back into choppy waters here with the Six of Swords reversed. Could be an air sign now. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again. Um... It's like you're still maintaining your cool. You see the stuff like kind of falling down around you, getting real, you know, again, choppy. And you're just like, you know what? I'm not going to let this get my goat. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to maintain my calm, cool, collected demeanor because that's what I need to make clear, concise decisions. All right. Judgment reversed. Why is judgment reversed for Sagittarius, please? The fool reversed. Okay. Again, we have Aries. We have Aries, Aries, Aries. A lot of you guys dealing with somebody uh, that either is an Aries or Aries in their chart. If somebody was acting very foolish, they're now getting their karma, okay? Others of you, it's like this person comes back from the past, Sagittarius, and you're just like, I don't even want a new beginning with you, you know, because of the way you acted before. You're not embarking on a new adventure with this person because you're just over it, you know? Ten of Cups reversed. Ten of Cups reversed for Sagittarius, please. Oh, wow. You got, I mean, oh, come on, guys. Emperor twice. Even though you're emotionally uh, rocked right now, like you're not showing it. You're being very stoic, stone-faced, putting on your game face and getting stuff done, okay? This is like the big girl panties, you know? Um, you might be very sad on the inside, but you will not let anybody see you that way, okay? That's what I'm saying. Um, you're not going to let anybody, like, even if you are feeling like your emotions are all over the place, you're just like, mm, I'm good, chill pill time, you know? Okay, and why is this emperor here for Sagittarius? Again... Sick and tired of being left out in the cold. Sick and tired of being impoverished. And that can be financially. This can be emotionally as well. Somebody's been shutting you out for a long time, Sagittarius, and you have had enough. You're just like, I'm not doing this anymore, guys. I'm not going to be left out in the cold, okay? Others of you, it may be an Aries person coming back in or coming into your life that makes you feel more fulfilled than you felt, than you felt in a long time, okay? So some of you guys have an Aries coming in for sure. Um, with the Aries, they look pretty good, you know, I mean, you got a lot of upright cards for that person, so if it is an Aries you're dealing with, that's a good sign. Um, others of you, again, it's about taking a stand for yourself, being that emperor, and really just saying, you know what, this is my house, this is the way that things are going to go, you know, if you can't follow the rules, then you can just exit, you know, that type of thing, all right? Okay, moving on to the sign of, let's see, Leo, Leo is next, Leo is next, okay. Leo, 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 on and around the eclipse of August 11th. What can Leo expect on and around the eclipse of August 11th? Leo. So, yeah, sign of Leo, please. All right. Leo, Leo, Leo.
cards for Leo, please. Love energy on and around the eclipse. August 11th, please. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Leo, Leo, Leo. Six cards for Leo, please. On and around the eclipse of August 11th. Leo. Oh my goodness. You guys, my cat. <laughs> All right. Hopefully she'll go play now. All right. Ooh, okay, we got three out. Okay. Leo, Leo, Leo. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is not half bad, Leo. Okay. Um, planting seeds of intention, Leo. Okay. Seven of pentacles. You guys are working really hard to manifest something here. It could be with an earth sign. does not have to be. Um, it's like you guys have kind of like put the seed in someone's ear that you kind of like them or that you want to be with them. Others of you, it's about growing a relationship, maybe taking it to the next level, that type of thing, just kind of waiting for the right moment. So Leo, this looks pretty good. Um, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Again, if you're dealing with an earth sign, Leo, mm, they may be a little unsteady, okay? Uh, they could be making you a little bit unsteady as well, emotionally. Um, usually the Queen of Pentacles is very, very grounded, very stable, very like calm, cool, and collected. When she's in the reverse, she's not feeling very stable. This could be your energy, your partner's energy, or the energy of the entire relationship, okay? But what's going on here is if there was some instability, um, that's really the only negative card I see because we have the world reversed. Now, the world is going to be very positive if it comes upright or reverse in any reading. It means the cycle's not over. So even if things were shaky before in the relationship and not really stable, um, it's not over yet, okay? We're not dropping all the wands. We're, we're still carrying on with this, all right? In a positive way, though, um, we have some passionate messages coming in for you, Leo. So eight of wands, all right? This is Cupid's arrows in the tarot. So um, some of you guys are shooting the daggers of love at somebody or somebody is shooting the daggers of love at you, Leo. This is very good, okay? Um, that's also really quick communication for you guys. Uh, lots of really good stuff there, all right? Two of Wands, um, making a plan, you know, making a plan to move forward. A two uh, usually is representative of a partnership. So, um, I mean, it's like you guys are sitting down, writing stuff down, figuring out, you know, are we moving in together or getting married? What are we doing? You know, that type of thing. I really, I just see an escalation in a relationship for Leos. If you're completely single, um, somebody may be coming in very, very fast for you guys, okay? It could be another fire sign, um, but it's like somebody's like on their way in for you, Leo, okay? Next, we have the Fool. Again, a new beginning, okay? Beautiful. Aries energy, but also, um, you know, you guys are having a fresh start. This could be a brand new relationship. This could be a renewal of your relationship, like starting off on the right foot this time, okay? Taking a leap of faith. And then we have the chariot, cancer energy, but also the energy of moving forward very, very positively, okay? So again, like I said, making, making plans, you know, moving forward. Some of you guys may be traveling with your partner or planning a vacation, uh, planning a trip of some kind, something like that, okay? So that's good for Leo. Let's see. Oops. Sorry about that. I don't really think that was a flipper. Let's just go ahead and shuffle these cards. All right. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles reversed, okay. Um, Nine of Cups reversed. So somebody may be feeling like they weren't feeling uh, fulfilled emotionally, okay? There might have been a need that was not being met, but that need, uh, it t looks like to me, if that's the issue in the relationship, it is addressed, okay? It is addressed so that it can be corrected going forward, okay? Um, others of you guys might be feeling a little off, and so it's like you're going out, you know, and you might party a little too hard this weekend. Make sure you take an Uber, guys. Don't drink and drive, okay? world reversed okay see i told you it's not over three of swords reversed okay um healing of heartbreak healing of uh things that were wrong before somebody was broken hearted it's like uh, somebody may be coming back in to fix that for you leo you may be doing that to somebody else as well um again if somebody's you know feeling really devastated over maybe the almost loss of something you know like something was almost lost it's really not lost okay i feel like reconciliations are very possible for you guys at this time Eight of Wands, the High Priestess, wowza, Pisces energy. But look, we got, you know, this is really significant because it's like the High Priestess kind of comes in. She's the keeper of secrets. Some of you guys might be in a secret relationship. You might not have gone public with your romance yet, okay? Um, if that is the case, it is very possible that during this time frame, things become very public, okay? You're out in public together. You know, you're, you're hooking up on Facebook. I don't have Facebook, but you know what I mean? Like the... Uh, when you put your relationship status on there, I don't know. 
um, something like that. But I mean, it's like she's uh, the secrets are coming out, secrets are being revealed. Others of you may be involved in a secret love affair. It might be kind of just starting up now, um, but you can't quite, you know, can't quite come out in the open about it yet. All right. Um, two of wands, two of wands for Leo, please. Wow. Leo, this is great. The lovers. Okay. See, you're, you're making a choice to move forward in a partnership is what it looks like here. Um, some of you guys obviously dealing with a Gemini. That is the card of Gemini. Okay. But I mean, it doesn't have to be, um, it's like, you you know, this is divinely guided partnership too. It's like, you have a very spiritual connection with this person, Leo. So it's like, you, you can't really leave them back you know what i mean like you don't want to go forward without them or they don't want to go forward without you you know you guys make that choice to go forward together the fool the fool for leo please wow breaking free from negative thought patterns um breaking free from something from another relationship to start a new one with somebody else okay um, a lot of scenarios here leo but you're freeing yourself up so that you can have a new beginning whatever that might be and again, this can be mental. It doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's involved with somebody else romantically. This can just be anxiety about moving forward in a relationship. It's like you're dropping the anxiety and deciding to take a leap of faith, okay? Others of you, it is though, like you're, you're getting out of one partnership so that you can have a new beginning with somebody else. Okay, Leo, for the chariot for Leo, please. The chariot for Leo. Wow, king of wands. You might be moving forward uh, towards a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But the other thing is you might be just really, King of Wands is very passionate. You know, he's the most passionate king. So it's like you're taking control of this and it's like you've got fire under you right now. You know what I mean? Like the relationship is very fiery. Um, it's very passionate. You're very sure about what you want and very assertive in going to get it. So this is very good, Leo. And that can be you or your partner or even both of you coming together. All right, Leo, if you're interested in a personal reading, I can be reached at trustintruthtarot at gmail.com. Just shoot me an email. I will send you everything you need. Um, thank you so much for watching Fire Signs. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.